What's going on everyone and welcome to a brand new series to the channel Until Dawn Yeah guys, I just received a brand new copy of the game in the mail today And as you guys know, I'm currently playing Bloodborne on the channel And inside this game was the advertisement of Until Dawn <laughs> So that pretty much gave me the idea to start this game on the channel guys I did a little bit of research on the creators of Until Dawn and they're actually coming out with a new game sometime this month. I'm not sure the exact date, but it's called Man Maiden and you can expect that game also to uh, start somewhere around this month, um, but I just have to throw a quick little warning out there. These games are a little bit on the horror side of things, so if you guys got weak stomachs, I'm just gonna let you guys know you should leave now because there's no holding back until dawn is all about the horror so just to let you guys know <laughs> I mean I'm ready I think I'm ready <laughs> um anyways guys they're asking for brightness adjustment um to make the logo barely visible which uh that should be good um now control options select your preferred method of control you can change this at any time via the settings menu all right i'm not sure what's the difference between these um okay all right well now it's showing me okay so there's one motion controls where you have to move the controller and this one is just pretty much just i think i'm gonna go with motion controls i i feel like it's more you know engaging to the game so yeah let's go with con uh, motion controls oh man guys oh my god it's about to start grab your popcorn you know sit back relax and enjoy episode one of until dawn oh 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 shoot i'm telling you guys leave leave right now <laughs> don't leave don't leave don't leave me alone <laughs> all right so ooh, who's this beautiful lady on the screen right now oh wow <laughs> you guys already know i gotta choose a waifu in every single game i play um let me check the settings real quick because i i do want to put um some subtitles yes sidebar text um overlay text for random material while playing uh, all right. Yeah, I want I want some uh subtitles because some people um that watch my uh gameplays are a little bit slightly deaf, so it's better to have their uh words on the screen for them to read. The butterfly effect: a tiny butterfly flapping its wings today may lead to a devastating hurricane weeks from now. Wait, wait is that a fact? Because that's crazy if that's that's true that's that's freaking crazy the smallest decision can dramatically change the future oh crap so this is kind of like Detroit become human your actions will shape how the story unfolds oh shoot it is like Detroit Your story is one of many possibilities. <laughs> oh, wow. Choose your actions carefully. Oh, man. Well, I have a little bit of experience with Detroit Become Human. With some action games. Shh, shh, it's about to start. It's about to start. I'm excited. I'm excited. Maybe a little bit scared. <laughs> Shetty. Oh, oh my yeah. god, I can't believe you actually did this. Shh, shh, shh. Did you 
guys think this is a little bit wrong? Oh, come on. She deserves it. It is not her fault that she has a huge crush on my Hannah has been making the moves on him. I'm just looking out for my girl, Em. Just because he's class prez doesn't mean he belongs to everyone. Mike is my man. Hey, Em. Oh, I'm not anybody's man. <laughs> Whatever you say, darling. <laughs> Thirsty. <laughs> weekend. Josh. Oh, can we move? Oh, word. All right. Already we're jumping into this game. Word. So, oh damn, she got a little butt on her. <laughs> uh, where do I go? Hello? They look like they're knocked out. And I see them red cups, so I already know they're drunk as hell. <laughs> Press and hold R2 to pick up the notes. Alright. Flip it over. You look so damn hot in that shirt, but I bet you're even hotter out of it. Come to the guest room at 2 a.m. Mike. Oh, oh yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> what did our naive sister get herself into now? Ugh. Intervention time. Wait, what was that um on the bottom? All right, thought I saw something. Oh, so um, that girl that went in the room maybe with Mike, uh, they're probably gonna hook up, I guess. <laughs> Anything over here that we can interact with? I just like looking around because I feel like, oh, what's that? Okay, what's this? Oh, damn, they drank a whole bottle of freaking whatever Jeez, that is. Josh. Once again, brother, you've outdone us all. Um. <laughs> he drunk it right now. Got your note. Glad you can make it. Maybe we should start with a little you know, making out and see where it goes from there. Oh, hell yeah. Oh my God, she's taking her shirt off. What? Oh my God. Matt, what are you doing here? Oh. Uh, Hannah. I'm sorry, Hannah. Hannah. Hey, it's all got out of Just hand, a stupid prank. Uh, oh, that is messed you up. Jerks. You know that? Hannah! No, that is messed up. Oh, shoot. Is that the guy with the machete outside? Um, wake Josh. Um, wake Josh. Josh. Tell him. Josh. Fuck. Guys, there's someone outside. What's going on? Where's my sister going? It's fine. She just can't take a joke. It was just a prank, Han. What did you do? We were just messing around, Beth. It wasn't serious. You jerks! Hannah! Psst. Hannah! What does she really like to? No. Should we go after her? You know, I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. That's the correct oh, shit. Oh! Oh my god, this is just like Detroit. <laughs> Quick times. 
fast, safe, fast. Let's go fast. <laughs> but why? Why do we have to go fast? She, where did she go to? And probably because she saw the dude in the machete with the machete. Uh, follow footprints. Um. Uh, follow footprints. What was the other option? I didn't even look. I I'm panicking right now. There is a psycho out here with a damn machete. Oh crap, wrong way guys, wrong way. So you can move the, the controller around like that to direct the light. That's tough. I'm kind of glad I chose motion. Motion is more uh, interactive. Anna! Oh, oh. oh shoot. Freaking deer. Okay. Walk faster. Hold L1. That's the fastest you walk? Damn, girl. Hello? Hello? Oh, wait, what's this? It's glowing on the floor. Oh, what was that? Death totem? What is that for, though? Is, is that, like, showing the future? Oh man, I don't know. I don't like that death totem. That's weird. Is that like a... Huh? Oh my god. Hannah? Hannah? Where the hell did she go in this freaking blizzard? You know, I, as a regular person, I would have just ran into my room. Oh! Oh shoot! Oh shoot, run! I don't know, but it, it looked like a freaking... Hannah. Flamethrower or something. Hannah. Hello? Hannah. Hannah. Oh my god, you must be freezing. Here, take my coat. I'm such an idiot. I'm so dumb. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. Hannah, is that? What is that though? Is that the dude? <laughs> Baby sister or older sister. Oh, they dropped the damn phone. Oh, Jesus Christ. No! No! Shit! No! Oh, shoot. Oh, no, no. Oh, please. No! Oh, no. oh, oh, shoot. Oh, crap. Let go. Um, oh, uh, oh, uh, drop Hannah. I'm, I'm not so gonna sorry. let go because they both died. Oh, that sucks. That really sucks. Oh, 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 oh. What the? So they both die whether you let go or you freaking drop Hannah? I don't know, guy. I don't know. That was weird. Before we begin, there are a few That's things crazy. I need to make sure you understand. You see, no one can change what happened last year. The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. 
But there is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. So, you have committed to commence with this game. This is significant. And I want to help you see it through. Sometimes, sometimes these things can be a little scary, even terrifying, but I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. Hmm? All right. We will start with a simple exercise. Could you please pick up the card? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. It, it is essential that you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. Okay. Who is this dude? Dr. Hill, I know that, but like, who is he? Um, it's a scarecrow with a barn in the background. Okay. So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. Um, it makes me happy. I feel uneasy. Well, it doesn't make me happy, so, uh, uneasy. Okay. <laughs> Honesty is good. What do you think it is that makes you feel uneasy um the scarecrow <laughs> oh the scarecrow yep well i see i see let's see the scarecrow were not there would you feel comfortable staying there on your own for a period of time say a week for example yeah i would feel comfortable sure if i mean even if it was there i would stay there i just I don't feel happy about it. <laughs> oh my, huh? these damn and psychologists. What if I told you that this cottage was haunted. Uh, I'd be scared. <laughs> oh. All right, all right. I sense that you suffer from a significant fear of of the supernatural. Uh, what lies beyond the veil of death is, after all, the ultimate unknown. Don't you agree? And what could inspire fear more than the terror of uncertainty? Yeah, I agree. Please remember, this is only a game. Well, we seem to be out of time for this session. But we'll talk again very soon. Okay. Okay. I'm guessing he's a psychologist for somebody. For me? <laughs> oh god. I probably need it. I probably need him through this game. Uh, he's kind of creepy himself though. He, I think he's more creepier than the dude that was chasing the girls with the machete. <laughs> God, I got goosebumps. <laughs> got goosebumps. You chills. I got ch horror chills all over me. Ooh. I'm excited, guys. I'm excited. Ooh. Hayden Pantier. Oh, oh! I knew she looked familiar. The, the girl that was in the menu screen. She looks familiar. She's that girl from uh, the that show Heroes. You know, the, the girl that uh, can heal her wounds. And she never dies. She's like Wolverine in a way. But oh my god, I love Hayden Panettiere, yo. She's, she's beautiful. She's really beautiful. Word. Yes. I don't know, but I, I'm thinking she's gonna be my wife. Won't you spare me over till the night? And she's 
she's definitely gonna be my waifu. Today is the one year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. Annie Klein was in charge of the investigation. Thanks for having me, Marty. Listeners, there's an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Thank you for joining us, Anthony. With all the Washingtons tonight, their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. All right. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. <laughs> so, um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me, and I know it's gonna be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year, but... I just want you all to know, um, it means, it means so much to me that we're doing this, and that uh, I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together, and I'm thinking of them. I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you, and, um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for for the sake of my sisters and, you know. Oh. Okay, so let's party like we're fucking porn stars, okay? Make this one trip we will never forget, all right? Yes! <laughs> wait, wait, this happened, so he's the girl's that died's brother. I didn't know that. This happened uh, a year ago, and he seems like he's, he seems like he's getting over it. But honestly, one year to get over two, uh, not just one, two of your damn sisters dying or disappearing. Ah, I, I, that's something you can never get over, to be honest. Ah. Uh, Blackwood Ponds. It was a really good beginning though so far. But so far I killed two people with my choices. <laughs> but honestly if I would have let go rather than let uh, drop Hannah, they would have both died anyways either way, right? Or maybe, I don't know, maybe she would have landed on Hannah or I don't know, I don't know. Ooh, that dude! Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Oh shoot! I'm scared. I'm scared. Sam, Hannah's best friend, considered adventurous, diligent. Hey, Sam, yo, that's wifey material right there. <laughs> Hello? Someone there? Path to cable car station. Okay. Honestly, after two people's deaths uh, last year in the same spot, I I wouldn't even know if I would want to come up back into this spot. To be honest, I'll be like, Nah, I'm good. <laughs> I'm not gonna be the next one to disappear. <laughs> Move the controller to look around, inspect. Okay. What's this? Oh, what? The gate's busted. Climb over, Chris. 
Oh man, what what a welcoming note. So climb over. Uh, I see a glint over here. Climb up. Uh, safe? Uh, nah, really? <laughs> I'm going safe. <laughs> quick times, quick times. You got this, Hayden. You got this. Climb. Climb. We're almost there, you know? Damn, she out of breath already? <laughs> but I don't know. I work out, so I, that would be like nothing to me. Well, I can't help but feel like this dude with the machete is probably trying to kill them off or something like that. Probably killing them off one by one or something. That's girly. That's so cute. Huh? Oh, wait, wait, what happened? Oh my god, I closed my eyes for one second. Okay. okay, I can't do that. I can't do that no more. Come on. I can't do that. I can't do that. Hold the wireless control as steady as you can. What? I didn't move it. I'm about to put it down on the freaking... It's okay. I'm about to put it down. I, I'm not touching the controller. If, if it messes up while this controller is on the desk, I'm going to be pissed. I'm not touching it. <laughs> yes, yes, that, that's going to be my tactic for that uh, interaction. That's a good damn tactic. I got the controller here. R1, if you are unsure what to do next, you can you see the current objective with R1. Character info, character traits, honest, charitable, funny. Oh wow, okay. So relationship status. Oh, so she seems like she she has a uh, a mutual relationship with everybody. Ashley, Chris, Emily, Jess, Josh, Matt, Mike. All right. So she she's you know she's cool with everybody. That's just like me. I'm I'm that type of guy to get along with everyone. Sometimes. Unless you're a douchebag, then I'm going to douche you. <laughs> oh my god. I feel like I'm watching a damn movie. <laughs> Indigenous cool. people and butterfly prophecies. Tribes who once lived in these mountains believe that butterflies carry dreams and prophecies of possible futures. The color of the butterfly indicated the nature of the prophecy. Death. Black butterflies prophesied the dreamer's death. Red butterflies warned of dangerous events. Brown butterflies foretold of tragedy affected friends. Yellow butterflies offered visions of help and guide. White butterflies brought dreams of luck and good fortune. Okay, well I need to remember all this. I need, probably will write it down somewhere. Oh, it's yellow. I didn't... As you explore, you can discover totem artifacts. Picking a uh, totem up and turning it will reveal a colored butterfly and a premonition of a possible future. Guidance totem. So, alright, we got two totems. We had, the first one was the death one in the beginning. And this was a guidance. A vision of guidance for a future choice. Okay, but it did Alright. Alright, so it was, it was a picture of a bird flying away and a dude. Some dude, I don't know. The future is uncertain. Press R1 at any time to view your totem collection. Alright, thank you. Uh, I see a glint over here. The past is beyond our here. control. Wow. Oh. Oh, talk about pessimistic. <laughs> uh, is this the cable Chris? car thing? You here? Uh, 
Uh, of course it's locked. Now I know why Bloodborne advertises game. Because they both have locked doors. <laughs> Psych. What's in here? Not in the bag, are you? Hello. What do we have here? Whose bag is that, though? Snoop, closed bag. Uh. All right. Well, I'm gonna snoop. <laughs> Why not? Why not? It's just. Oh shoot. Uh -huh. A butterfly effect appears when your actions have changed the narrative of the game. He knows. Oh, 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 oh. Chris. Oh, Chris, you freaking. Oh, methodical. Methodical. Has a crush on Ashley. Who's Ashley? Protective, humorous. Alright, well, you're humorous, but you scared the crap out of me, my dude. <laughs> you scared me. I, I'm sorry. Are, are you my secretary? Oh. <laughs> What's buzzing? Cool. Well, thanks for letting me know. I, I can take it from here. I didn't know you were gonna pop out of nowhere. <laughs> oh, so I found something kind of amazing. What? I'm not gonna tell you. You gotta see for yourself. Come on, it's this way. Where? Right around here. I'm gonna blow your mind. <laughs> this guy seems cringy. All right. Well, I guess we will get along because I'm kind of cringy myself. <laughs> Just a little bit, just a little bit. What is this? Who huh. found water poster? Uh, sex mail, height 62, last known address, Blackwood Pines, wanted in connection with a first degree arson offense, oh, as well as various death threats. Anyone with regarding the dangerous criminal should contact the BPMC as soon as possible. Oh, okay, so. Oh, wait. A first degree arson defense? Isn't that something to do with fire? Yeah, guys, that dude. That dude with the machete. He, he has something to do with the fire that was going on in the beginning. Alright, Chris, what do you got to show me? Pretty rad, right? Yeah. Come on, look at these beauties. Uh, beauties is not the word that comes to mind. Why is this even here? What do you mean? What the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of a ski lodge? Uh, dude, have you ever met Josh's dad? Yeah. He thinks he's like Grizzly Adams or something. Wanna try? Uh, now you go ahead, Grizzly. <laughs> All right, here goes. Oh, okay, we got to shoot? All right. Um, R2. Oh. Okay, I got one target. Oh, wow. So when they say motion controller settings, they really mean, like, you got to motion sense everything. Ooh, it's kind of fun aiming with the controller. Ooh, get it. Fool's eye, bruh. Wow, nice shooting tits. <laughs> All right. I'm bad. <laughs> I'm a badass. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and guess uh, it was a chill. wild case of beginner's luck. No, nah, I don't think so, girl. Oh, okay, let's do it again. Oh, this is timed. Well, anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. It's the squirrely. Oh. No, I don't want to aim at the squirrel. I'm not like that. I'm not like that. I'm not like that. Seriously, I'm not. I'm not going to shoot the squirrel that she gave nice nuts shot. to. Your ass just got sacked. Hey, sharpshooter, a ride's coming. Wait, I'm just getting the hang of this. Come on, Chris, the cable car. I can't help but feel like Chris is probably going to be the first one to die. <laughs> he seems like the type of dude in, in the movies, in the horror movies, where, you know, he's just the first person to die. I don't know. Wait, is there any items around here? It's definitely weird coming back up here after a whole year. Yeah, I swear. The moment I don't see no glints. Here goes fast. Hey, let's 
That's weird. The door's locked. Yeah. Uh, Josh wanted us to keep it locked to keep people out. He said that? What people? I, I don't know. He said they found people sleeping in the station one time. It's creepy. <laughs> that is creepy. After you. Oh, real gentleman. Honestly, Hayden seems like the chick that I'll go after in real life. She's considerate. That's the type of chick I love. <laughs> Oh, I can walk? Oh, I thought it was a cutscene. I thought the car was closer. Guess we gotta wait. I'm starting to get the appeal of killing time at the shooting range. How long is this gonna take? It's a big mountain. Yeah. It's so beautiful in the day, but at night just feels menacing, like sleeping giant. You gonna publish? What? Your pretty poem. The sleeping giant of Blackwood Ford. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Oh, let's check out what's in here. Ah. There might be uh some Oh, what a crazy Black place to set up out. No matter how rich you are. So For rich. a healthy body and mind. Hotel and sanatorium. Is that where they're staying in a hotel? It's just the cameras, different camera, uh, security cameras, I guess. Anything in here we can, uh, collect. I, I don't feel like the, this game is, like, uh, Bloodborne at all. So it's crazy how Bloodborne is advertising this game in their, their game case. Finally, <laughs> you coming? There's no items to collect. Yeah, well, I was gonna stay here and catch some Z's, but... I mean, Josh seemed really pumped about us all doing something, didn't he? Yeah, no, he definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good, good. It's hard to tell when they have a night. I'm kind of worried. No, no, it was, it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro. Good talk. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Let's just... Let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. Uh, you know what, you're right. You know how Josh and I met? No. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room, I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher <laughs> made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay, so? So I got moved to the back. And? And next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, and became friends to this day. A match made in heaven. If it weren't for the fact that Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early, and on that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off her training bra, I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Right now. Or, or talking to some other person entirely. Boom. Butterfly effect. If you think about that in real life though, if you apply the butterfly effect in real life, it's kind of, it's kind of intense. Jess, Mike's new girlfriend? Confident? Trusting? Irrelevant? <laughs> Irreverent? Irreverent. Irreverent. Sorry, I don't even know what that word means, <laughs> let alone how to pronounce it. She's, she's cute. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. New people. Time to meet and greet. Oh, scratch that. She's not cute. She's freaking hot. You, you see this body right now? Damn, girl. You, you got the body. 
Sorry, what the stop. hell? Jess, hey! Jessica, over here! Uh, are you guys having a really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Pretty please? <laughs> well, I thought it was gonna let me decide <laughs> whether to let them out or not. <laughs> but yeah, I don't want to catch my eye too much on him. I thought we were goners. Another 10 minutes in there and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, sick, Chris. Look, I got a lot of meat on my bones. It's all muscle down here. Yeah, right. <laughs> Stupid. Uh, that sounds hey, like me. <laughs> Chris. I'm just doing like Sam taught me. Other people's private thoughts are my own personal playground. Do oh. not be a jerk. My goodness. Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president Michael Monroe. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. Insist, give it back. Explain, I'm with Mike now. Um. I don't know, it's the same. Uh, She seems like that insist type of chick. I'm not going to lie. She seems like that type. Give that back, you tool. Tool and die. That's my motto. Oh, you're such an idiot. Maybe nosy Nancy shouldn't go nosing around in other people's nostrils. Uh, yeah, I, I try not to do that as a rule. Come on, Jess, you can tell us. You can totally keep secrets. Whatever. You'll figure it out eventually. All right, all right. Let's just get up to the lodge already. It's getting tired of all this. Maybe I should have explained that uh, she was. You guys go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. You mean Mike? What? Uh, I mean, you know, whoever. Uh huh. Sam? <sighs> Did you see this view? I mean, holy cow. Sometimes I forget to just stop and take it all in. Oh. Seriously, couldn't they have built the lodge like right where the cable car ends? Emily, Mike's ex. Oh, shoot. Intelligent, resourceful, persuasive. All right, she seems like the chick that I would never wife up. <laughs> Let's just put that on the table right now. I don't think it would have been like as pretty. Oh, Matt. Emily's new boyfriend. Motivated, ambitious, and active. Sounds like me. <laughs> Sorry, let me stop. No. And where's the bellboy when you need one? Oh, sorry. Oh, word, guys. Well, unfortunately, that's all I have time for in this episode of Until Dawn, guys. So, I'm really excited about where this story is going to go um, according to the decisions I make. But, yeah, guys, make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't already so you guys can see where it's going to go and... Who's going to die? Because <laughs> I know somebody's going to die. If there's a dude with a machete out here in the wild, somebody's going to damn die. <laughs> well, guys, I'll see you guys in the next episode of Until Dawn. Take care.